When working on a shape, you can cut out angles, but you can also modify segments. Let's see how. Firstly, let's change the length of a segment. To do so, click on the end of the segment that you wish to reduce or expand. Then in the Shape drop-down menu, click on Modify, and then Length of Active Segment. You can then enter a new length. Note that the Move represents the difference between the initial length of the segment and the new measurement. Let's now see how to create an overflow, which is extremely useful when creating specifically shaped worktops. Two types of overflow exist, a simple overflow or an overflow respecting the angles. Let's take a look at the following two shapes, which are completely identical. For the one on the left, we will create an overflow of 500 millimeters, and on the right, we will create an overflow respecting the angles, also of 500 millimeters. To do so, select two points from the first shape. To select them, you can either use what we call the lasso technique, prolong to left click, or use the shift key on your keyboard. Once the two points have been selected, go to the shape menu, choose modify, and then overflow. Enter the value of the overflow that you want. We will do the same with the shape on the right, but this time we choose the Overflow Respecting the Angles option. Let's look at the results. The normal overflow keeps the value of the segment but alters the angles to fit it properly. On the other hand, the overflow respecting the angles keeps the initial values of the angles but changes the value of the segment. Let's now take a look at the rectangular and circular projections. Once again, we will have an example with two identical shapes. Let's select two points on the shape on the left. In the Shape drop-down menu, click on Modify and then on Rectangular Projection. You will be asked for the measures of an overhang, such as 400mm. When we look at the result, you will notice that the two new points will be placed 400mm from the initial segment. Now, let's select two points on the shape on the right, click on Shape, Modify, and then Circular Projection. A window will pop up asking you for the arrow. This corresponds to the distance between the middle of the segment and the highest point of the projection. We enter an arrow of 400mm. Take a look at the results. You will notice an arc point has been added. Measuring the distance between what was the middle of the segment and our arc point, you will find a distance of 400mm, the arrow. This last technique can be used, for example, to create dining areas on an island, 